everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new AEW Series 4 2-in-1 review for you guys on the brand new AEW Unravel Collection, Cody and Sammy Guevara. First time in the line for Sammy Guevara over here, which I'm pretty excited for. Us reviewing these means that Santana and Ortiz will be the last two in the set that we have to review in our ranking video of AEW Unrivaled Collection Series number 4, but I'm super excited to get into this. Our 17th Cody figure and our first Sammy Guevara. But you guys can see here, picture of Cody here, Sammy right there. Front viewing window of the talent, your classic Jack style packaging is what I like to call it. It looks really good. You got their names in gold foil on the front. AEW figures right here, number 29 and number 30 in the set. On the back, you have a beautiful image of Cody with the light beams from Fighter Fest from 2019. And then you have Sammy Guevara from Dynamite in 2019 as well in a matchup with Cody, which is, yeah, you got the, you got the UK exclusive Cody right here, which will compare pair in the video but rest of the figures in the wave if you guys missed our video from yesterday about Kenny Omega and Matt Hardy definitely check that out guys but this is the full packaging for these figures if you guys would like to grab these you can go over to ringside collectibles and put in a pre-order now it will probably be a little bit before you get them but if you missed out on that pre-order and you want to put that in definitely go get in on that before it is too late nonetheless guys go over to ringside collectibles use promo code MD toys to save yourself some money when shopping over there but let's shut the hell up and crack Cody and Sammy Guevara out of their package and see what they're all about. So here's Cody and Guevara out of their packaging. Guys, looking all right for what we got so far. I'm excited to dive into these things further. Take a look at what they got. You guys can see their entrance accessories all over them. And you guys know how the videos work. We are going to take a closer look at their accessories first and then dive into the figures themselves. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into Cody Rhodes' accessories and Cody. And then we'll come back and look at Sammy Guevara's accessories and Sammy Guevara. So let's shut the hell up and take a look at the Throne Breaker. So for Cody's accessories, guys, you do get some pretty basic stuff, but I think what we got is quality over quantity. Let's take a look at the interchangeable head sculpt. You do get two different ones here. And the first one is his AEW Series 1 Unrivaled Collection you know, head sculpt, but it does look to be a little bit better than when that was released. And I'll do a quick comparison right here between the two. You guys can see, I think just the updated skin tone and, you know, the repainted lips and you guys can see the structure of the lips looks really, really good. I think they nailed it. It definitely looks better than this one. I know it's the same, like, sculpt, but it's painted better or they, they've modified it just a little bit and I think the likeness to Cody is definitely there and I like it a lot more. So that is beautiful. Really enjoyed that one. And then we also have the interchangeable one or the brand new head sculpt that is going to come on the ringside exclusive. It's also going to be on the Chase variant version that we're getting. And it is this smiling head sculpt that looks just like Cody. Like holy shit. This looks just like Cody. I love the hair sculpt. I like the hair color. The likeness. The smile. The, the You know everything about it. It looks damn good. I appreciate this a lot. I'm really happy to own this one. And if you guys want a side by side of the two you have like a oh my god you have a serious cody determined cody and then you have a smiley face cody which is great i would love to see figures come with a determined face a smiling slash happy face and then a yelling screaming face that's the only three expressions you should get man expressions packs Make them happen. Bunch of different expressions. All the talents need them. Do it. Nonetheless, those both look good. We also have the Throne Breaker t-shirt, which looks really good. I love the quality of their shirts. I think they're immaculate, to be honest with you. Like, really good stretchy material. Graphic looks good on there. Got the Throne Breaker t-shirt that was released on ProWrestlingTees.com. Looks really nice. Looks just like the shirt and everything. I almost bought that one time at Hot Topic. And then the last accessory, if you can even call it that, guys, is his weight belt that's in an all-black color. It's kind of like a smoky gray, almost, like a matte black. Black. It says won't back down with like light blue or a blue with gold outline and then the American Nightmare logo that's usually on his neck which this figure does not feature. The Chase variant does in the gold. I would love to track that figure down. Both Chase variants so far for Cody have been gold but that is the weight belt guys. So that is it for Cody's accessories guys. So with that being said let's dive in to Cody himself. So for Cody Rhodes himself, or Cody, I'm sorry, don't sue me, Brad. Here's the head sculpt on the body. I think it looks great. I really wish that they would have given us both versions that have the tattoo. I know the ringside exclusive is going to have the tattoo, but I really would have liked to seen the tattoo on this figure. Again, in the Series 4, the Chase variant does have the tattoo, so maybe you'll get lucky, get the Chase variant, and have the tattoo on there. But the Dream tattoo looks good. I like the skin tone, the updated skin tone. We already knew that we got because it's on the UK figure, and he has his blood 
Brothers that also has it, but he did have blood all over him, but this still looks really good. I love the black colorway. You do have the white wrist tape going on over here. Again, his weight belt, we already saw that. You have these lime green or, or bright electric green, and then you have the silver and black details. He has the same tights every time, right? I mean, he's got the American Nightmare logo over here. You got the crotch stuff. You got the, you know, the thigh stripes or whatever, and then he has the logo on the right knee pad, the scales down the front of the shins, and then you have his boots there with the Pharaoh logo. It says the Elite. It looks really clean on there, and it is on both sides. And the boots are super duper clean. They're in full white right there, molded. And it seems like his ankle pivot is a little bit tighter than it usually is, but that is it for Cody, man. I mean, not a lot going on. It's pretty much just a repaint of his last figure, and then we do have that new head sculpt, which is pretty damn awesome. Now, his articulation is the same as every other Cody that we've gotten, but if you guys want to see how well this looks up and down, it's pretty good, and yeah, that's pretty much it for your Series 4 American Nightmare Cody. And then for your AEW Cody Rhodes figure comparison, guys, here is the new Series 4 up next to the UK exclusive AEW Ring Cody, the Blood Brothers Ringside Exclusive Cody, and then the AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 1 Cody. And if you guys wanted to see what this head sculpt looks like on the rest of the figures, we can go ahead and conduct that. Now, I do not own the Chase variant version, which I really wish I owned the, you know, the Series 1 or the Series 4. That's two Codys that I'm missing, which would make six in total. And then you also have his unmatched figure that I think is coming out, and you also have his ringside exclusive figure that's coming out in the purple attire. I'm all for it. I don't really care how many Codys we get. I enjoy them, so I don't, you know, it's not gonna bother me none, Brad. But here is the smiling head sculpt. We can go ahead and plop this onto the UK ring or the, yeah, the UK ring Cody. And it looks like the skin tones may be a little bit off. It may not be completely perfect. Nonetheless, that looks super badass on the UK figure right there. I'd love to see that. And then if you wanted to plop this off, come over here, plop that off of Series 1 and see what this looks like on the Series 1 figure. There you go. That looks pretty damn badass too, man. That, that head sculpt is killing it. And then, uh, yeah, that skin tone looks way better on that body for, you know, his first Series 1 figure. But if you guys wanted to see that, there you go. And if you guys wanted to see the new Series 4 Cody up next to Brandy, there you go. They obviously don't match or anything, but, you know, it still looks good. The all-white bottoms look nice, and then they scale well and everything like that. So I know the Brandy figure is probably one of the more harder AEW figures to come across next to a Chase variant, so there is Brandy and Cody, but that does it for your Cody figure comparisons. So for Sammy's accessories, guys, you do get a decent amount of stuff right here. We do have his entrance jacket or his leather jacket right here that is in a softer rubber material. Now, being that it's long sleeve, I probably will not use it. I'd rather just get a Finn Balor jacket or a Best of Attitude Era cloth jacket or get a custom jacket made over using this simply because it is rubber and it hinders articulation. Now, for display purposes, if you don't care about moving his arms, then this may be a perfect solution. But you do get a nice zipper. Like, it looks great. If it were cloth, it'd be undefeated. Or if it was like a soft, I don't know. If you could bend the arms in some way, it would be very nice. It still looks immaculate. Like, I love all the... Like, whoever sculpted this did a fantastic job. Like, the wrinkles and the stitching and everything looks really good. I just don't think I'll ever use it. But you also get black sunglasses, which we'll go ahead and put that on the figure now so we can see exactly what that looks like when you put those glasses on. Uh, yeah, that looks just like... Sammy Guevara, Brad. When you put those sunglasses on, you can't see the eyes. I think it looks identical to Sammy Guevara wearing glasses, so that's really good right there. Be careful when removing them from the packaging, though. I did find that they, you know, they, they kind of were nifty in on me. I didn't want them to break in half. But then we also have his Hit Me Up sign. So, what's really sick about this is that you don't just get one, you get four, psych. You get five. You get five to put all out throughout your crowd. I thought that was very unique. When I saw that there was five of them, I was like, holy shit. So that's pretty epic right there, man. Five hit-me-up signs you can put in your crowd and everything like that instead of just the one that we've come to know in the past with figures and stuff like that. They come with one, you know, crowd sign or whatever. But that is it for Sammy Guevara's accessories, guys. So with that being said, let's get into Sammy himself. So getting into Sammy Guevara, guys, starting out at the top with the head sculpt. I think the likeness is there. I feel like maybe the eyes, maybe repainted, would look a little bit better. I still think it looks like Sammy Guevara. It's that same tongue-out expression. You got the nice swoopy hair going over the top, and you got the shaved sides and everything. I think they did a good job on this. It's kind of like a mohawk slash faux hawk, the way it just goes straight up like that. I've styled my hair like that before. You got, you got a little something special going on there, young man. Tone sculpt looks good. Likeness is good, like I said, going down into the toy. 
torso. I don't know. I don't think this is the Darby Allen slash Orange Cassidy torso. This looks like a different torso, but I don't know the exact torso. It may be even a completely new one. Or actually, now that I look at it, I think it's the same as the Cody. I think it's the. I think this is a Cody torso slash Young Bucks torso. But here are the arms. You got the black thick wrist tape. You got the nice. I think this is supposed to be a panda eye on the trunks or like a panda's face. If you guys can see the little mouth right there, and then you got the eye and everything with the triangle, and then you got the nice. I forget what it's called, but it's like the winning symbol at the Olympics or whatever. What the hell is that? Garland? Is that what it's called? Not Garland. What the hell is the thing called? It says the laurel leaves, but I, that's not the word I was looking for, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, Brad. Anyways, you got the gold wrap going around the crotch. You got the black crotch piece, semi in black over the gold, and then Guevara in gold over the black. Nice thighs going on right there. You got the black knee pads going down into the kick pads. I think this is a unique sculpt. I don't think they've reused this sculpt before. And unlike Pocky X, actually does have boot rotation down here. It doesn't spin at the top of the kick pad, but it does have that middle cut similar to Phoenix and similar to Pentagon. But I like the Sammy Guevara, man. It feels really good in the hand. It feels good to pose around and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get into our articulation real quick. Now for that, he can look down that far and he can look up pretty decent as well. His ab crunch is really damn strong. He can bend all the way over there. He can rotate some here. It is a tight waist right there. Go above 90 right there. He does get the full 360. You got the bicep swivel. You get the beautiful Beautiful double jointed arms right there. You do get the ball hinge and it rotates 360. He's on ball joints so he can do the crazy spin move and splitsies. Upper thigh cut, really good double jointed knee which is very nice to see. Again, you do get the boot rotation. You do have the feet go down and up and he has the ankle pivot side. So that is just, this Sammy Guevara figure feels really good in the hand. So that's very nice man. He can literally just cack right in the face. So that's, that's just fantastic. But let's get into some Sammy Guevara figure comparisons. So for your Sammy Guevara figure comparisons, guys, here's Sammy Guevara up next to his former inner circle mates in Chris Jericho and MJF, and then you have Matt Hardy over here as well to do some comparisons with, and I think he fits in nice with the inner circle if you wanted to put him in your inner circle. Of course, he did just recently leave the inner circle, but you know, they're they're in that constant deal right there, so I guess we're going to get a baby face Sammy Guevara run, and that should be interesting, so we'll just see how that plays out on television, but I think all of them scale well together and everything like that. On top of that, I can't wait to get a better skin tone Chris Jericho. I'm ready to see what that looks like. So we will have to see what comes of it. But that does it for your Sammy Guevara figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much does it for our 2-in-1 AEW Series number 4 review on Cody and Sammy Guevara. Guys, overall thoughts, I think this is a really good Cody. It may even be the best Cody. Not my favorite attire, I think, that we've gotten, but as far as skin tone, you get the updated head sculpt. Interchangeable shirt. I say interchangeable. Removable shirt is, is a better term for it. I think it looks good. Really good stuff. I like the all-white boots with the Pharaoh logos and all that good stuff. If you've missed out on the Cody's to this point, again, this is a perfect setup to get. I did put my Finn Balor Elite 74 jacket on the Sammy Guevara and it really throws it over the top. Now, you put the sunglasses and the jacket on there, this shit looks just immaculate. Like, just look at it. It looks just like Sammy Guevara. It looks it looks great. I think they did a really good job on it, guys. If you'd like to put a pre-order in on these guys, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% grabbing any other, you know, AEW figures. You can also pre-order the Ringside Exclusive Cody over there as well that you don't want to miss out on, as well as Series number 5 that will be dropping very soon. You don't want to miss out on those. Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, etc., etc. Hopefully, we get some pictures of those guys really, really soon. But let me know what you guys thought of both of these figures down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and get into our random shout-out. Now, I would say go ahead and grab Sammy Guevara simply because you want to expand that roster. You know, we are just ever-expanding. Like, I feel like we have so many wrestlers, so, but you, like, you could literally run a little promotion already with all the figures we have. I mean, we literally have a few tag teams. You got great mid-card talent. You got main event talent as well that can move up and down, so it's looking good, man. It's really coming together, and I'm super excited. But for our random shout-out, it's going to go to CEW Figs and Reviews, Matt Fat Vanguard one has a better head sculpt than the recent basic Finn Balor. I thought that was hilarious simply because Matt Fact that ties back to his V1 gimmick back in the Ruthless Aggression era then he tied it back to Vanguard 1 who has two different figures. He has a Mattel figure and he has an AEW Unrivaled figure one in the network spotlight Matt and then the series format Hardy for AEW and then he said that Vanguard
Guard 1, the hologram of Matt Hardy that comes with that, has a better head sculpt than the recent basic Finn Balor. And what makes that even funnier is that he put the most recent basic Finn Balor as his profile image on his YouTube profile. So that's absolutely fantastic, Brad. Shout out to CEW Figs and Reviews for that. I thought that was great, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Let me know what you think of these figures. Go over to Ringside Collectibles MD Toys to save 10%, and I will see you guys in the next video. <gasps> don't cross the line if you get what I mean. And by what I mean is don't cross the line like Sammy Guevara. If you know what I mean, Brad, you know what I mean.